Listen to this, following the top of the table, uh, Clash, Wrexham's thrilling 3-2 win against second place Notts County in the National League, which saw Ben Foster save a penalty in the last minute for Wrexham, my love, you know. Uh, one of Wrexham's two Hollywood owners, Ryan Reynolds, spoke, this is unbelievable, spoke to TalkSports The Moose about how special football is. It's the most romantic game on earth. Everything about the sport, but not just the sport, you know, in general, but the, but the way the sport is handled here, the pyramid system, relegation, promotion, I mean, that, that creates stakes like nothing else does. Uh, you know, so, so I would say that, yeah, there is nothing quite like football, football in this kind of system. He didn't leave it there. The Moose also caught, caught up, excuse me, with the other Hollywood owner, Rob McAlelly. Have a listen to this. That was the most exciting sporting event I've, I've ever seen, live or from TV. I mean, what do you think it was penalty? terrible. What do you think of the penalty in the last minute? Well... Looked pretty easy for him, didn't it? <laughs> what, to, to, That's why. To save the penalty. So, I don't know, what was it, a month and a half ago, I got a call from Phil saying, Ben Foster, what do you think about Ben Foster? I said, you're the boss, you tell us. Yeah. But, no, and here just we are. Like, you... Firstly, well done to the boost for getting those, because a power didn't see this, but apparently just pushed everyone out of the way and just got that interview. So, I mean, that's, that's why we're not really well done, the moose. Um, what do you make of just, you asked me a question, my wife asked me a question the other day, what, what was it about Wrexham that made Rob and um, and Ryan want to buy Wrexham? And I said to him, I have no idea. You asked me the same question. I don't know. Why are they chosen Wrexham? No idea, but I asked someone the other day and they yeah. said, oh, it was for that um, Wrexham, to, is it Wrexham Till I Die? The, the yeah, doc- yeah, documentary. But surely don't buy, but this, my point is, okay, I understand all that. No, they wouldn't but, have bought them for the doc, whoever no, they would have bought. No, but this is what someone said, is, it was for the doc, but that was my point. What yeah, you might say. Late in Till I Die. Exactly. Swansea Till I Die. It's, I, I whoever they buy, they're making a the doc. Yeah, but apparently it was Wrexham was what they chose. No, no, no. That's nonsense. It's an incredible story, though, isn't it, so far? A reminder, by the way, it's currently half-time in the game between Bristol City and Middlesbrough. Over on TalkSport 2. City are 1-0 up at the moment. Yeah, good goal as well. Uh, let's stay with Wrexham for a moment. Steve-O, we'll go back to Chelsea and Dick. Steve-O's a Wrexham fan. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Now, usually, usually, we don't we don't have non-league football on this show or any show on TalkSport. Well, we're not non-league very nearly. <laughs> I'm only joking. You must be. <laughs> let me ask you: When you found out that Ryan and Robert bought your club, were you one of these football fans that were like, "Leave our club alone"? I'm happy where we are. Or were you one thinking they could hopefully they'll pour millions upon millions in? Well, yeah, you hope they're going to do, don't you? The, the whole town was buzzing. You can go into any pub in the town now at eight o'clock, nine o'clock tonight. They'll be singing. It's, it's amazing the atmosphere created by them two fellas. Yeah. How far do you think you can take your club realistically? Well, I think they can go straight to the championship anyway. Do you? They put more in the end. They have to build a bigger ground. They're building a new stand behind the old goal to make it but... so, so that, that, That's my only thing. Is that... Steve, sorry, it's not the best line. It, it was a good question you asked in there because when does... Listen, was he worth about 400 mil? When does that start No, no, to... no, 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 no. He's worth about a billion now. Is he? He sold his gin company for 600 million. Yeah. And he had a twenty five percent share in a telecoms company, and that netted him four hundred and fifty million. Okay, so you've got to say he's got a billy, one billion. But is he happy? W- yeah. When when does that start to become a little bit tight in terms of what you put into football? What do you keep as your own personal I wealth? Think if you've got a billion pound, you can easily put in two hundred and fifty million. Well, no, actually, yeah, yeah, but that's that, a quarter of your wealth. No, but you put in two hundred fifty million, that will only get you so far. What happens when Premier League you get rid? No, I think that if they can get Wrexham into the. Even the championship's a massive ask, by the way. Massive. Honestly, big big money. Yeah, the, the gap. Uh, leagues two and one, I can see clubs climbing. Yeah. I think as soon as you come out of League One into the championship, that's where Remember, all of a sudden... Becomes, training ground costs. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously... You're buying proper players. Y- yeah, exactly. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from four. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.